The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds and to the one who knocks the door will be open. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asked for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asked for an egg? If you then who are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. The students will be going on a hike today at Mount Kearsarge, and some have done it already before. And they know that the best way to get to the top is to stay on the path. And if you stay on the path, there might be some difficulties, there may be some hard parts, some very hilly or rocky areas, but if you stay on that, you know you'll get to the top and see a beautiful view. If you stray, if you go off on your own, there's the possibility of getting lost, of getting hurt, or worse. This psalm that we heard today, Psalm number one, the first psalm from King David, is a psalm that kind of sets a precedence for all the others. And it's basically what David is trying to teach us is about staying on the right path. He mentions about those who meditate on the law day and night. In our New Testament understanding, we would see the new law as Jesus himself. If we hold on to Jesus, if we love him, hold on to him, ask him to hold us, he leads us on the right path. And there are many blessings that we receive, great healings that we receive, great strength. And he leads us till one day that we are in glory with him forever, for eternity. But there's also the, the very stark warning. It's very easy to be led off of the path. When we hold on to other things than Jesus himself, our own ways or our sins, then we don't experience those blessings. And we get lost, we get confused. Let us pray today as we receive the, the bread come down from heaven, the very bread that we need Jesus' true presence to strengthen us to be able to hold on to him and to remain and stay on the right path. Regina Jenny, let her 